It has been more than seven hours since a possible hit and run suspect barricaded themselves inside a downtown hotel. Standoff is happening at the Hotel Old Number 77 on Chapatula Street. Devin Barlotta has been at the scene all evening long. Devin, what is the latest from there? Katie, it really, we have seen things change drastically in just the last 10 minutes or so. It actually seems as though this standoff has come to some sort of a conclusion. Within the last few minutes, we saw someone being wheeled out on a stretcher and loaded into an ambulance, and that ambulance then drove off. Now we're seeing the SWAT team and some other police officers start to break down their equipment. Um, we're going to have to move over here. Just um, They're bringing in some vehicles again to kind of break down this scene right now. So there is a bomb squad vehicle behind me here that played a big role in this. I want to show you some video of what we saw just within the last hour or so. Police got a robot out of that bomb squad vehicle and set it up and then wheeled it at, wheeled that robot inside the hotel. It's really unclear what they used the robot for, but within 30 minutes of bringing it inside, someone was wheeled out on a stretcher. Police tell us this person is possibly a suspect in a hit and run who barricaded himself in the room with a gun after police knocked on his door around 245 this afternoon. Poli people staying there were surprised that the SWAT team walked in shortly after and the fourth floor was then evacuated. You just see guys like in full helmet, body armor, you know, big guns, and they had a stretcher too. So, you know, you're assuming, I mean, I, when I see that, I'm assuming the worst, you know, the worst of the worst. Great hotel, like we were digging it, it was great. And now this. Again, it does appear now seven hours later as if that standoff has come to some sort of a conclusion. We are still awaiting an update from police on exactly what happened. If the person who was wheeled out on the stretcher was in fact the suspect, we will be expecting some kind of condition on how that person is doing. We also don't know how that person may have been removed from the room. So we will, of course, be updating the story as we get additional details. For now, reporting live, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. All right, hopefully it's over and ended peacefully. Thank you, Devin.